Okay, all right. Uh, coming off a loss against the Nebraska, uh, good Nebraska team. Uh, we're still learning a lot about our team, uh, which is good. And uh, got Alcorn State this week and uh, looking to, uh, to rebound. Any questions? Yeah, uh, we're, we're familiar with their head coach. Um, you know, I believe he was a defense coordinator last year at Memphis, um, and I'm familiar with him even before then. Uh, he's a he's a very solid coach. I uh, really feel like they'll be sound and make you earn it. And uh, you know, we're actively uh, gathering information now, watching film. Really don't know much more. You know, probably later in the evening, I'll I'll have some more information as far as. Uh, schemes and personnel, we're still watching film. Is, is one of the biggest things, you know, I mean, people expect you guys to defeat an FCS team. Is one of the biggest things is preparing your team not to overlook uh, a moment like this? You, you know, I'd say probably in some instances that would be a that would be a factor. I mean, right now we're we're uh, it doesn't matter who we're playing. We're worried about ourselves, and we've got to get better in a lot of areas, and we know that. And uh, so I know from a coaching standpoint and a player standpoint, you know, that's our next opponent, but we are worried about us. When you say you got to get better in a lot of areas, what are a couple of areas that stand out to you that you feel like? Yeah, I, I would say offense, defense, special teams, overall execution. we got to yeah, continue to improve. And uh, there's some areas that, that we're decent in, but there's areas that, uh, you know, we're deficient that we've got to find a way to overcome. You know, one thing that, that, of course, we're playing without two guys that uh, started the season, okay? But I feel like they're getting better, and, uh, you know, they're a group that uh, is listening and learning from Coach Grimes, which is one of the best in the business. And we feel like that group will improve each week. Uh, last week, uh, you know, we were outmatched um, in some areas. I mean, they were very good up front, and, uh, you know, any time up front, you're a little outmatched. It's tough in certain situations. And we already talked about, you know, the third down and six plus. We've got to figure out a way to protect our quarterback better. But I really feel, to answer your question, I feel like that group is going to be a very solid group, and I think they'll improve each week. It's going to come at a good time for you, considering you start conference play next week. Well, you know, we've been pretty beat up probably the last three weeks through this grind right now. And, uh, uh, we need to get our guys healthy again. Um, you know, uh, Alcorn State, we know we're going to get their best coming in here. But, uh, you know, we, once again, we need to worry about ourselves. We need to get our, our gate main guys healthy. And uh, if we can get our main guys healthy, and even some of the guys are playing a little banged up. So we got to do a good job this week in practice and uh, in the game Saturday. You feel like Well, if you're talking about last week, he got hit a couple times early, you know, and any time that uh, you're playing the quarterback position, if you get hit, some big hits early in the game, it affects you the rest of the game. And, you know, whether it's protection or whether it's guys are getting near you, uh, it's a trust factor with everything combined. So, uh, you know, he's learned this offense as we go. We've got a bunch of young receivers, like we already talked about, that's on the field. you got to have a trust where they're going to be in the right spot. And uh, so we feel very good about Ryan, and uh, he'll get more and more comfortable uh, and grow with this offense. Coach, you mentioned a lot of guys being banged up so far. Is this going to be a game this week where you're going to try to throw a lot more guys into play than you have the first three games? Well, you know, we played quite a few people the, the first three games. Uh, you know, we do have some young guys that are getting more and more experience at different positions, and so we'll try to get those guys some more experience. But at the same time, we're trying to build this thing, and we're trying to build it the right way. And uh, uh, experience for those young guys uh, is going to be critical moving forward. You like having an FCS opponent on the schedule? Kind of, what are your thoughts about you know about that uh, and moving forward? Obviously. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm fine with it. Uh, like I said, I inherited this schedule, and so we're going to make the best of it. And uh, it comes this week right before you know conference. With, with future. It doesn't bother me.
you mentioned Al, you mentioned Alcorn's coach, you know, his past experience at Memphis. What do you know, I guess, about his scheme that he actually runs? Uh, do you have a general idea, or are you still kind of looking at more film to kind of? Well, we're watching film and uh, also looking in the past on you know what he likes to do and all that. He's a very sound guy, um, and he's a very good coach. How important is it just that you guys really play well, knowing that next week you open conference play? It seems like you that, really got to get some things correct. Yeah, to make sure yeah, I think that's the big factor. I said worrying about us, and we need to play well. Uh, we need to get some momentum going into some in the conference, and uh, that's what we're focused on. Uh, more of us, and. Uh, and wanting to play well. And even though on the scoreboard uh, it didn't turn out like we wanted Saturday, and I know I, I, I tend to focus on the things we've got to correct, there's also some good things happening, and there's some things that we're getting better at. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, last week there were so many areas we really need to improve on. But each week, and like I said all along, we need to get better each week. And, uh, but this week is a, is a critical week because it's right before conference. What did you think of the special teams performance at Nebraska compared to the previous week? Yeah, it was better. Uh, Nebraska overall has one of the better special teams unit in college football. And uh, I thought at times uh, we did did well. We had the two penalties that really hurt us. You know, we had them backed up. That's kind of what stands out in my mind. Uh, and our kickoff coverage was good all but the one that uh, we tried to pooch, and they kind of bust out the back door. But, you know, they returned, uh, you know, some kickoffs last year. I believe one this year. So. Overall, I was I was pleased the fact that we we are getting better. You talked about still learning about your team. Is there anything that you've learned the first three weeks that maybe came as a little bit of a surprise? Uh, you know, I wouldn't say there's one particular area, but personnel-wise, uh, it was really good for us after this last game that we could kind of take a seat back and really evaluate the first three games personnel-wise. The guys that we can trust, uh, the guys that will do what we ask them to do, that will play with great effort, and things are starting to come a little clear. So you know, this week you could see some possible new faces or move some people around. Now, with that being said, you know some of the guys are hurt. We got to get them back on the field too. But for coaches, we've got a really good plan moving forward, personnel, and uh, so that's that's really good for us because we've been mixing and matching some and uh, giving some people chances at certain things. Anytime you're doing that against quality opponents, there's going to be some mistakes. And, uh, and I told our staff the other day, we're building this thing for the future, and we're building this thing, and we, it, well, there ain't no quick fix. I mean, we're, we're going to build this thing for the long term. And so that's our plan. Coach, how are you feeling about the defense? The first half, they kind of took their lunch. The second half, got you guys – some great momentum mm -hmm. heading for the rest of the Well, they got some turnovers, and, and that was critical. We knew that it was going to be tough to stop them. Uh, you know, we were putting eight men near the line of scrimmage, sometimes nine, takes some chances to try to stop the run. And any time you do that, you're going to put your secondary in some one-on-one -on -one situations, and they're good coaches. I mean, they made some good adjustments, but our defense got us some turnovers. And, uh, you know, we asked them to do that. And, and I think, too, we're learning a lot about our defense. And uh, putting the best guys on the field that uh, that we can count on, and all that, and I think we'll get better each week, you know, moving forward because of that. You got freshmen like Bryce Giddens, Rocky Haster, freshman, a redshirt freshman, McKissick, all those guys, even uh, second, number two quarterback right now, yeah. uh, Knight. All those guys are playing a lot of minutes and doing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Do you see them continuing to contribute more and more as the season goes on? Yeah, there, there's no doubt. You know, you look at our, our playmakers, and, and those three guys all have a chance to make plays. And, you know, they're still learning as they go, too. And uh, so we do have some playmakers. That's the good thing, that we got some playmakers. They're young, and uh, they'll definitely improve, you know, each time you, you put them out there. How much does the loss of Stockhammer through the last couple of games hurt? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a big loss. I mean, I think you all know that probably even better than I do just for what he's done in the past. And, you know, you asked, asked the question about Ryan, his comfort. I mean, his comfort really has been uh, Stockhammer, you know, uh, in the years to come. And any time you lose that guy, that's kind of your safety net. And you got to go some other places. And there's times that we're moving receivers around, and they may not run 10 yards when they're supposed to run 10. They may run eight, and it may throw the quarterback off and make him look like he's out of sync when really it's not – that's not the case. So uh, to get him back when we do, well, that would be a really good shot in the arm, and I think that will help everybody else also. What's kind of timetable for him? Uh, that's a good question. Um, 
You know, nothing has changed as of today. Um, we want him to be 100% when he comes back, I'll tell you that. So uh, that's, uh, you know, when, when that happens, when he's back on the field, then, then uh, he'll be 100% and we'll feel very good about putting him out there. Here right now, you're just, just looking at scores. What are some of your thoughts on the league for the first weekend? Yeah, very impressed with, with those victories and close victories. I mean, Lou Zamarole, you got to give those guys a lot of credit. And, you know, whether Arkansas or Auburn's down, it really doesn't matter. They went on the road, uh, which is very tough to do, and they went overtime two weeks in a row. And then you look at West Kentucky, what they did against Kentucky. I mean, and really, uh, I guess Troy gave Mississippi State all they want. So you're talking about a conference, which uh, some very good teams in this conference. And uh, that was very impressive to see, and it's nothing but good for the conference.